Hey there YouTubers, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we have an exciting and interesting uh, lesson. Uh, we have a gentleman who wants to uh, basically open up an Internet Explorer ticket for his job, but he wants to be able to populate all the text boxes and whatnot on his uh, website that comes up and automatically have Excel to click the button as well to submit a new ticket. So basically just automating all his stuff while Excel does all the calculations and is really easy to program. So we're gonna hop right in and first of all I want to say I do not want to take credit for this. I mean I first of all I didn't invent Excel or Internet Explorer uh, nor the code therein. Um, and what I did is I found somebody who had already kind of paved the way. There is a forum and I will provide the link to that. Um, but I want to give full credit to that gentleman. Let's see. A gentleman by the name of Evadman in a forum from 2003. That's very helpful. I'm sure you've helped thousands and thousands of people help me. So we're, I'm just going to walk you through it visually on, you know, on YouTube. Anyway, let's dig right in. Basically, um, I'm gonna hit Alt F11, and what? Uh, well, let me go over here. What he said that he wanted to do is he wanted to be able to populate a text field or two in the uh, Internet Explorer on the HTML window that pops up, and he wants that to be dynamic. But we're not gonna get into that right now, based on which window that pops up. What we're gonna do is basically open up a new instance of uh, Internet Explorer and we're going to go to Google and we're going to um, populate the text box that the only text box that shows up and then we're going to click the uh, button to submit that search and we'll show you how you find the names of the button and how you find the name of the text box so you can do it with your website and that should give you the tools to at least get started so uh, with that being said we'll hit Alt F11 um, and we're going to okay this is the original code uh, that evadman put on his on the forum which again I'll put a link to but basically I just changed the website we're gonna go to, straight to Google and then um, okay so the first thing here is uh, uh, dim IE declare IE as an object then uh, we're gonna set that up to be this create object of Internet Explorer dot application and that um, creates a new instance of Internet Explorer then it navigates straight to Google and it makes it visible because by default it is actually not visible when it loads now this next part is just a do, uh, while uh, and then do events thing here so while Internet Explorer is busy basically um, do events so just keep on doing nothing essentially until it is no longer busy and then end the while statement here. So it just waits till it boots up, which sometimes Internet Explorer can take forever, as you may know. That's why I use Chrome typically. But anyway, um, then it says ie.document.all, and it gives a specific name reference, dot value equals, and this is where we come in. Uh, his thing said um, in quotes, whatever you want to put in here or something and I went ahead and I'm just gonna make it whatever's in A1 right here so we're gonna shove the word populate the box with this exclamation exclamation in the Google search um, so this is not the actual name of the text box we're gonna show you how to find that and then we're gonna show you how to find the name of the button and how to click it using Excel VBA let's get started okay so I'm gonna hit F8 to kind of start debugging line by line through this first macro. Um, if you've never done this before, what I did is I hit Alt F11. It gets me to the Visual Basic Editor. Then I went to uh, this down drop down box, clicked on Module, creates another module. I don't really need this one, so I'm going to delete that. Um, okay, I guess I can't remove it since I'm in the middle of a macro, so never mind. Anyway, so this is what we did. We just uh, put sub and whatever the name you want to give it in sub at the end and then copy all this stuff down. Now you can download this workbook by clicking on my Dropbox link though so it will save you a lot of time. So uh, here we are. Set IE equals create object dot blah blah blah. So hit F8. That takes a few seconds. 
way longer than it should. Okay, now navigate to google.com and it's now visible so now it's just popped up down here so this is loading now while Internet Explorer is busy do events okay it's already loaded really now here's the here's the cool thing I'm gonna show you I'm gonna scooch this out of the way a little bit show you the Google search bar so we're going to make this uh, text box well okay it's not called text box one let's go ahead and hit F8 I'm gonna show you it's gonna say there's an error because there's an object required there is no such thing as text one so debug I'm gonna go ahead and stop uh, what we have so far I'm gonna show you how to do this you can do it in Chrome or in Internet Explorer I prefer Chrome but whatever so let's say you wanted to inspect this particular element um, or check it out see what the name of it is if you right click on the text box um, maybe on the edge and go to view source it's going to bring up a whole huge plethora of information that you is way too much um, which is again why I like to do this in Chrome um, you might in fact that's let's just go to Chrome because I found the button using Explorer because I did a find. We can try it. Control F is find. Um, I don't know name. Now there's too many names in there. Uh, let's see. Txt. No. Txt. Anything good? Way too many. Way too many. All right. Let's inspect this bad boy. Uh, in Chrome really quick so you go here let's just open up a new one let's do here we go so we'll go back to Google's main page and right click on this and go to inspect element at the very bottom in Cr Google Chrome what that does is it zooms in uh, past all this craziness straight to where we need to look at so you might think this ID equals GBQFX is, oh, that's the ID. Well, no, we're actually looking for the name. So if you look over with your eyes, name equals Q. So they made it really simple. This text box name is Q. So let's try that. Go back to uh, this and double click. Change that to Q. Q dot value is going to be equal to whatever uh, A1 is on my sheet 1. So let's try that I'm going to close this out and in Excel here I'm going to hit F5 it's gonna run through all this good stuff and leave me with a beautiful Internet Explorer page that says populate the box with this but it's not gonna click the button yet we haven't done that hit F5 waiting around on Internet Explorer to do its thing slowly okay let's see what happens Ah, there it is. Populate the box with this, which is exactly what we have in A1. That's pretty cool, right? Now, what about this Google search business? Um, how do we click that or something like that? All right, so let's figure that part out. Actually, let me. Ooh. So I right clicked on uh, that and I clicked view source. Um again just way too much information here so I'm gonna control F I actually got lucky uh, I typed BTN and hit enter and it looks like there's only a few instances of a name that is equal to BTN so but I'd prefer to do that in Chrome as well because all this is just jumbled together so you got button G button K and button I now when I tried button G it didn't work for me, so I'll just cut to the chase. Button K was the one that I that I found that worked to do a search. So let's go back here. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. Really, I'm just going to copy and paste this first part. IE dot document dot all, and the name of it was BTN K that worked for us. Now not dot value, but simply dot click, and that will click that object right there. So it's really easy it'll just run that search for you um, so let's see what happens when you click the button populate the box with this great now 
let's do it from scratch. I'm gonna hit F5. Now I'm gonna change this search just to just for fun. Search this stuff with like six exclamation points. Now hit F5. So it's opening Internet Explorer. It's going to type that in whenever it's not busy anymore, and then it's going to click that beautiful button. Wait for it. Type it in. Click. There's our search. Bam. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, that is how to do that. Thanks for watching. God bless.